Hi everybody, let's look at this one. This is 4B choosing system. So they say a ball falls from rest from a height H, consider the ball to be the system there. So it says draw a dotted circle around the system. Okay, well they said the ball is the system. So there we go, that's our system. Anything uh, outside of that ball is considered outside the system there. So let's move on, easy enough. So next part says, the dot uh, below represents the ball. Draw a free body diagram. Make sure the lengths of the arrows represent the forces. Well, that doesn't even really matter because we only have one force here. There's no air resistance on this. So we just have the force of gravity acting down on this ball here. All right, so next part, part C. It says, sketch a graph of the net external force on the ball versus the height. What are the units of the area under the curve and what does the area under the curve represent? Okay, well, there is a constant force, just the force of gravity acting on it. And so that value right there is the force. Let's just say that's the force of gravity. And so what is the units for the area? Well, to figure that out, we would do our force times our height. This would be measured in Newtons. This would be measured in meters. So the units, would be newtons meters or in other words joules so what does this area right here represent that area equals the work done which means it's also equal to the change in kinetic energy of the ball there the work done by gravity so next part here it says, fill in the energy bar charts to describe the energy of the system when the ball is dropped just before it hits the ground. Use the lines below to explain your reasoning. We'll get to that in just a second. So on this one, it's at rest in the beginning, so it has no kinetic energy. There's no spring in this problem, so there's no spring energy. Now you might wanna start filling in gravitational potential energy, but remember that you only have gravitational potential energy when the Earth is part of the system, which it's not in this case. So there's no gravitational potential energy. So we think about it as some amount of external work is being done. That external work is coming from the Earth itself pulling it down. And so that is in the beginning. So what happens in the end? This work, as per the work energy theorem, changes the kinetic energy. So all of that work goes into becoming kinetic energy there. We're on the ground, so no gravitational potential energy and no spring. So work becomes kinetic energy. All right, so next part. Does the mechanical energy decrease, increase, or stay the same as the ball heights? So mechanical energy, remember, is kinetic energy or potential energy there. So one of those two. Um, so what is happening here? Well, the energy increases here. If you think about this is our system right here in which our ball is there, we've got energy coming in from the outside of that system through the process of work, and that increases the energy into our system there. Now, we switch things up here a little bit. It says, what if we were going to, the system we're going to include Earth? How would that change the chart? So now that we've got Earth in the system, we can talk about gravitational potential energy. Remember, it's like we're crediting the work that we know the Earth is gonna do. So we can think about there being a certain amount of gravitational potential energy to begin with. There's no spring, it's not moving, but now there's also no external work done because the Earth is part of the system, it's internal, so that's not external work there. And then over here, that gravitational potential energy once again becomes something else, it becomes kinetic energy there. And so we've sort of swapped out external work for gravitational potential energy. And then finally, in part G here, it says, if the system were to include the Earth, does the mechanical energy increase, decrease, or stay the same? In this case, it's staying the same. Remember before, let me bring this back here, we thought about it as the ball was our system, and we brought energy in from the outside because the Earth was doing work on it, gravity was doing work. But now we're gonna think of it as the same. So our system is the Earth and the ball. They're both inside of the system. And gravitational potential energy is simply switching over to become kinetic energy, but we didn't add any new energy into the system.